Hello everyone. Uh, I've gotten another private message from Venom Fang X, and I'm going to read this one um, rather than just have you guys uh, read it for yourselves. I will address some of the points in it. Um, he starts out, Wow! It seems what I say to you in private is not said in confidence. If you wish to report what I have to say, then report this. I never paid a single cent or received a single cent for viewership ever. Um, okay, uh, I do think that it'd be a good thing for me to just use that as the title of my video that I'm making right now. Um, because that, that to me is the larger point that I think everyone needs to see. That this is Venom Fang X clearly denying ever uh, having done any of that. Um, straight from the horse's mouth, people. Um, and he goes on to say, So while I appreciate you recanting your previous statements, the effect of your carelessness is that I've been receiving hate mail from those who feel I've done a wrong for which I never did. Um, while I, I don't uh, apologize for Venom Fang X receiving hate mail in general, um, I will say that all you really need to do is include a link to my uh, video where I did recant and, and did retract my positive claim that you had uh, done something wrong because I didn't have the proof. So. Yeah, just send them a link to what you would normally send them, because I'm pretty sure you, you already get a lot of hate mail. In fact, you say this uh, next. <clears throat> next you say, This, of course, is nothing new. I've been dealing with this kind of slander for seven years now. It comes in different forms, and this is just the newest one. Well, then I'm sure you have a form letter that you send to people that are sending you hate mail. Please add my uh, retraction video to your stock of, of things that you send to people that send you hate mail for the last seven years. By the way, seven years, um, that, that seems to correlate with uh, the age of YouTube. Um, just want you to think about that for a second, you know. Maybe the, the hate mail is part of being public on YouTube, no matter who you are, you know, just saying. <clears throat> he next says, I stand by what I said to you earlier, you have been used by the devil to defame the Christian message here on YouTube, and for that reason I brought to your attention the scripture that explains how is it that the devil has used you and why he would seek to do that in the hope that you would recognize the spiritual darkness of your own heart and seek the face of God in his forgiveness as we all must do um yeah okay you, you had a reason for sending me what you sent me okay um I see instead you have chosen to vilify me yet further by posting what I sent to you in private. Um, I actually don't see how it was uh, vilifying that post that was sent to me. It seemed like the standard stock Christian message, you know, of you without God are being used by the devil. Um, nothing particularly vilifying in that, really. Um, I, I will say that it makes me feel a lot more comfortable to think that, uh, I guess, rational minds are scrutinizing the same things that I'm scrutinizing. I don't like to receive the Christian message or, or the evangelical message in private or, uh, let's say, at an altar call where you, you've got the peer pressure of everyone around you, like raising your, your levels of... Um, hormones in your body and making you think all strange things, you know. Um, I prefer to sit down and look at things and have my friends help me out and look at them. You know, I am not infallible. Uh, obviously, I just had to make a retraction video, and I like when other skeptically-minded people 
can look at the same thing that I'm looking at and maybe point out something that I'm not seeing, you know. I think that it's uh, part of the evangelistic nature of, of certain people that they will try to catch you in private, you know, away from everyone else so that, you know, somebody who uh, hears the sophistry that's being used and recognizes it won't be able to help you, you know. I prefer to have all the help that I can get, and obviously I needed a little bit uh, this week. So, uh, yeah, I prefer everything to be out in the open. Um, when everything's out in the open, uh, there's a far less likely chance that something bad will happen. And I think that that right there could be you know, a paraphrasing of something that uh, you've heard from Thunderfoot that the internet is where religion comes to die um, but my my softer version would be I like people helping me with the the hard problems you know I like people to help me you know look at things and and uh, you know if they see something that I'm not seeing, I like to get their input. <clears throat> Next he goes on to say, while I stand by what I said, it was for your eyes only. Um, perhaps I should have made that more clear rather than assuming this courtesy. Yes, especially in the skeptical world, especially on YouTube, especially considering the seven years of quote-unquote slander that you've received um, yeah I would say don't assume that anyone's going to keep anything private when it comes to you in particular um, he goes on to say but I doubt even if I requested you keep this message private that you'd respect that um, and that's that's something confusing because uh, you actually say in the beginning then report this you know, which I will to everyone. This is Venom Fang X saying I never paid a single cent or received a single cent for viewership ever. Um, yeah, then that will be the title of the video. So everyone can get that. If anything else, they can get that as the message. Um, lastly, he says, you have another agenda that is perhaps more important. The agenda of which I spoke in my previous message. Be well. And, and that's kind of confusing, too. Like, um, if, if I thought that the incarnation of evil, Satan, was uh, directing someone to undermine me, I might tell them, well, be full of fail, you know? Um, if you're going to paint me as your, your enemy, your adversary... Um, why are you going to tell me to be well, you know, because then I'd just be well at being your adversary and, and, you know, maybe you're bringing it on yourself. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, for seven years, maybe you are, you have been bringing it on yourself by telling your adversary, hey, be well and, and do me some good adversarial work. Um... And to you, sir, I say, be well. Um, uh, I don't think that I am uh, working for Satan. I think that uh, both of us have a, a common goal, which is uh, seeking truth. We just have very different methodologies uh, to do so, which, with, the, 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 damn it. I'll, I'll cut this off now.